Hey guys, Betty here, and today's video is going to be, well, <laughs> it's going to kind of be a mashup of August and September's book of the month, because I kind of missed, like, two months. I, I went on holiday, I found tremendous damp in my bedroom, where that took a lot of my time, where I didn't have any free time to sit down and do this, so... I'm here, I'm here. So, this is an 18 plus months, guys. Um, some of it is dark romance, some of it is a bit of dark reads, some of it is paperback, some of it is ebook. I know, I'm a bit all over the place, but just bear with me. So, the first book I would like to discuss is Destroyed by Pepper Winters. Now, this is an ebook, it is an 18 plus, guys, so, you know, you know the drill, I don't need to say it. So, synopsis. The story is about Hazel, a feisty young adult who has a daughter who is dying. Hazel must find a way to save her daughter. The genre of this book is sort of contract for sex. It, I don't, uh, uh, no, I do like Peps. Me and Peps are like that, as you know. She is one of my favorite favourite dark romance authors like ever. I love her. We are getting married. She still is not following me on Twitter though, even though I stalk and stalk and stalk. Maybe that's why. <laughs> but she's yet to like a post. I mean, come on, peps. I love you. You know, you just need to know who I am so we can share that love. <laughs> yeah, I enjoyed it. I liked it. It was okay. Um, The male character in this book, Yes, you've had a horrible past. Yes, we know. You don't need to tell me five million fucking times. This is fast becoming my book of the year, believe it or not. I cried so many times. I couldn't help it. <laughs> the kid in it. The, the honest to God, the child in this book kind of just made this book for me. I thought she was fucking awesome. It did drag it out a bit towards the end, which kind of got on my nerves, you know? Just, just end. You don't need to like go on and on and on. Words cannot comprehend what an emotional roller coaster this book is. It really is. It takes you up and you fucking come crashing down, then you're back up, then you're fucking down, then you're up, down, all around. I don't have the vocabulary, to be honest with you, to tell you how much I fucking enjoyed this book. It was amazing. It is, there's quite a bit of violence in it, so be warned of that. But I've got to say, perhaps, oh, you keep on blowing me out of the water with your fucking content. I fucking love it. I love you. And it would mean a lot to me if you were to like, you know, follow me and like, you know, like one post, one post, it won't fucking kill you, will it? <gasps> On to book two is Torn From You by Nashoda Rose. Here's a look at the cover. Eighteen plus guys, this is dark romance, not suitable for younger audiences. The genre is kidnap, there's a bit of rape, and there's a smidge of waterboarding in it. So if that kind of doesn't, you don't like it, don't read it, okay? The story is about Emily who gets attacked. She went, <sighs> I can't fucking speak! You could tell. It's been so long since I've made a fucking video. I can't get my words out. The story is about Emily who gets attacked. Then she goes on ahead to find someone to teach her self-defense classes. She meets Sculp in an illegal club. He is a cage fighter, but unbeknownst to her, he has some hidden secrets himself. Ta -da! First thing that pissed me off, guys, and you know what it's gonna be, um, loses her virginity in a few pages. Ugh, ugh. I'm 30 years old. I don't need to read someone losing their virginity. I lost mine quite, you know, a long time ago. So I don't need, I don't need it. I don't want it. I don't want to fucking read it. The opening scene I found completely horrendous. It jumps from one scene to another, which kind of got on my nerves. She, like, Emily is such, like, a strong, independent woman. But she caves, which is completely infuriating. It has the potential to be brilliant. This book does. Uh, Emily, will you please shut the fuck up? All you do is fucking whine. Till about 70%, then it's kind of Logan's perspective, which kind of got on my nerves. Why don't you just like do both all the way through? I don't understand why the majority of the book is in L. L. 
I don't understand why the majority of the book is in Emily's perspective and then, you know, the last fucking 30% you're talking about Logan. But anyway, it was okay, pretty tame, even with some serious moments. It kind of like, it promised like really hardcore and it really wasn't. It was actually really, really tame. So yeah, give it a go. Don't, totally up to you. On to book three is Find You in the Dark by Meredith Walters. Here's a look at the cover. It's like a young adult, not necessarily 18 plus. Cue Maggie May, an obnoxious teenager who wants a better life, then conform into society. Then she meets Clayton, a dark, mysterious misfit. Can he be the action Maggie was looking for? It's quite childish. <laughs> it really is quite childish. But I enjoyed it. The structure of the read dragged like fuck. Maggie thinks she can save the fucking world, which got on my nerves a little bit. Halfway through, I was really unsure whether I was going to finish it because it just kind of plummeted and was just like utter shit. I've read One Day Soon by Meredith Walters and it was kind of like the same shit as this. Same teenage angst, same depressive characters and I actually didn't finish it and it was like stabbing my eyes out with a fork. So... <laughs> Sorry Meredith. <laughs> so book four is typed by Alexandra Tor. Now, Alexandra Tor is quite popular in the dark romance world. I have only read, I think I've read something by her and I didn't like it, but I wanted to give her a bash because she's so popular in, like I said, in the dark romance world. So, synopsis, Riley, a 32 year old who works at a bank in a small town. She meets Brett, a rich, handsome, dark stranger. Can Brett bring Riley back to life? Dun, dun, dun. Who the hell is Kitten? Who the fuck is kitten? It's nice, there's no drama, although it was nice to read something that didn't include a 19 year old virgin. So, thank you my love, thank you, I really, really enjoyed that. 66% in, there's an argument that I really enjoyed. I found many bits bland, boring, tiny bit of drama, nothing to get your pants wet, so, meh. So this is September's book of the month. To, to kick things off, it is. Mother, Mother by Corinne Salikas. So a friend actually lent me this book. She thought that it was actually like freaking bomb. So obviously I had to read it and I have been wanting to read this book for a while. It's a very dark read, very dark. Synopsis, the story is about the Hearst family, a very fucked up family with an overbearing mother. It's packed with suspense. You have no idea where the story is going, what is happening in the story, which I liked because it kept me on my toes. I love how it's written and I love Violet. Violet was my favorite character in this book. She made the book. I love her. She's my sister from another mother. It did get a little slow halfway through, but I still didn't know where the story led, so that was awesome. It was a little, just a smidge, little anticlimaxy. The beginning was pretty epic, but I'm afraid it lost itself towards the end. But it's a really, really good read. It's not dark romance whatsoever, but it is a really, really dark read. So bear that in mind. But I thought it was fucking awesome. On to book two is Fallen by Karen, Karine, Karine Slaughter. Now, I have never, ever, ever heard of this bird. Never, never. I'm, I'm really, really shocked that I haven't because I am now her new best friend. She is like amazing, absolutely amazing. Anyway, the synopsis. The story is about Faith who works with the police and has a small daughter. Faith comes home one night and notices a bloody handprint on the front door and her baby screaming inside. Dun, dun, dun! I didn't realise that this is a part of a series <laughs> and this is number five in that series so I was a bit gutted. I can't believe I've never heard of her. Um, very Kathy Reich, very Tess Grierson I think it is. I think it is. Very much like that. I loved, I loved, I loved the structure of the book. I loved the story. 
She gave you just enough detail to keep you interested in each chapter. Really enjoyed. I flew through it. So many twists and turns. An exceptional, exceptional crime thriller. What was that? Crime thriller. So if you haven't read anything by Miss Slaughter, I suggest you do. Like, she, like, I was blown out of the water. Like, that I'd never heard her before. And I've read, like, a lot of books and I couldn't believe it. So if you like crime and a little bit of, you know, go and a little bit of suspense, then please give her a go because I thought she was fucking epic. On to book three and the last book in our mashup of books of the month. It is Pretty Girls by Karen Slater. So obviously, because, you know, we made love in the last book, I had to give Miss Slaughter another go, you know? The synopsis. The story is about the Carroll family, whose sister was abducted in 1991. The family moves on, but will they ever find out whatever happened to Julia? Dun, dun, dun. Really good read. Absolutely really, 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 really enjoyed it. Very dark. Loved the way that it was written again. It was awesome. Great storyline. I couldn't put it down. Excellent read. I bashed it out in 24 hours and I think it was awesome. So I hate to say it to you guys, but I'll probably be reading every book that she's ever fucking written. So please, you know, keep an eye out for them in my books of the month because I love it when you find a new author that, you know, kind of floats your boat. I love it because I get completely obsessed and then I need to read every single book that she's ever written. And um, yeah. So guys, I'm so sorry that this video has taken so long to fucking make and um, I apologize that I've been MIA but I'm back I'm here and I hope you are well please like and subscribe you know what you're fucking doing how are you I'm good I'm okay I'm all right like I've got no complaints but anyway if you've read any of the books that I have mentioned please comment below let me know how you got on let me know if you like them if you have any new authors that you've discovered and you're obsessing over, then please let me know because that is my favourite, favourite thing to do. And I hope everything's well with you and I'll see you later.